this week's bourbon of the week. As you can tell, we've moved into our bourbon bracket single barrel edition where we have Rebel Yell single barrel and Four Roses single barrel as well. We're gonna see who can move on to the final four and who's gonna go home today. If you haven't already checked out the last episode from Selection Sunday, that's how we got our rankings. But in the meantime, let's get Marissa down here to pour these up because we are gonna do these blind. If you haven't already, check me out on Instagram. There are gonna be some great prizes along the way during this March Madness bracket where we're gonna see who the top contender is when it comes to single barrels. Let's do this. Hey guys, I'm gonna be pouring up the bourbons today, super secret. So we got an A and a B cup, we got other little stickies, so I gotta see what I wanna do here. See how he does. All right, babe. So here we go. Hopefully she did this well. We have B, we have A. We don't know which one goes with which. I won't touch them for now. Just so you know, obviously we have the Rebel Yellow over here. This is a weeded bourbon compared to the Four Roses, which comes in, I think it's either whew, 35, I think, 35% rye. So I think we're gonna be able to tell off the bat here, although I'm not the best when it comes to that kind of stuff. So let's try this one first. This is B. Smells a little spicy right off the bat. I'm not picking up a lot. Of, I don't do that nose thing. You guys already know that. So let's just get right into it. Time for the traditional sip. Ooh. So these both come in at 100 proof. Obviously the high rye. This almost tastes like the high rye right off the bat. I haven't gotten into this one yet. This does taste like the high rye. Um, Four Rose is always a great pickup. The single barrels are readily available here in Pennsylvania. I'm gonna try to make these a little bit quicker than normal. Um, I don't wanna keep you guys sticking around. We got a lot to get through. Rebel Yell, weeded, 100 proof, 10 year. I don't think, this is not age stated from what I remember, but this one straight off the bat, high rye spice right there at the end. A Little bit of sweetness, a little bit of oak. Actually a very well balanced vanilla oak type of thing. You know, I don't like a lot of oak or smoke. Ha doesn't have overwhelming flavors for that, but very good on the, uh, on the rye spice there. And then that vanilla kind of balances it out. I like that a lot, and I do think that that is the Four Roses, just right off the bat. Again, I'm not the best at this, so I hope I don't embarrass myself here. Let's get into what I think to be the Rebel Yell when we're talking about this one being the Four Roses. Much calmer. As you can see, I've drank a lot of this. Haven't had it in a while. This I haven't had as much. I have another Rebel Yell. Um, just their, what is that, 80 proof, I think? Yep, their 80 proof Rebel Yell up there. So that, you can already tell that this tastes like a weeded bourbon to me. I, again, I hope I'm not embarrassing myself. This tastes like the weeded bourbon. This tastes like the high rye mash pill. Um, which one's better? Now again, it's tough because my preference always goes to that rye mash pill. So I'm trying to take that out of the equation when I'm talking about these. But to give you an idea, this is like a 45, we're not worried about price, just telling you guys. This is like a $45 bottle. This is like a 65 or $75 bottle. Both very easy to find here, both 100 proof, 10 years versus non-age stated. This one, the flavor profile just doesn't seem as upfront on it. It's there for a second and then it's gone. Again, it could be that weeded mash bill. Weeded mash bills always taste watered down to me almost. Not that this one is because it definitely has a better flavor profile than some of the wheat, like the Larceny I'm not a big fan of, which is a pretty popular weeded bourbon. But this one just tastes Kind of bland. It actually kind of has a little bit of a spice as well, but nothing near as overwhelming as this Four Roses. And I don't want to even say overwhelming because the Four Roses, if this is the Four Roses, is delicious. If this isn't this way, if this isn't Rebel, if A isn't Rebel Yell and B isn't Four Roses, I'm going to look like an ass. And I can promise you I don't want to look like that. So let's hope, I'm going to pick B as our winner, but let's hope that it's the Four Roses. I'm going to do one more sip with a little bit of water in between just to try to make sure that I don't make myself look like a fool. All right, clear palette, going back to the one that I think I like better. One more try. Again, very well balanced, very easy to drink. 
for 100 proof. Actually, drinkability is pretty good on that for 100 proof. I would say this is actually an easier drinking. This is a little bit smoother, but the flavor profile, it's not even close for me. This one's watered down almost, where this one is just like always there, very long lasting. We're going to take one more sip of A before we call it. Here we go. Yeah, it's just not quite as powerful. The flavors don't seem to linger quite as long. Again, I really hope I'm right on this because I will be, I will be embarrassed if this is not A and this is not B. But we have to pick a winner and I'm going to pick B as our winner and I'm going to hope that I've got this correct. Let's check it out. There it is, B. B is the Four Roses. The Four Roses is always a solid pick. That obviously gives us an A over here. Four Roses is just always a solid pick when it comes down to these uh, single barrels. Always consistent. You know about the, uh, what is this, OBSV? I think it's OBSV when it comes to the mash bill on that. So it's just always a solid pickup. Rebel Yell was the underdog. We put up a couple polls here on Instagram. Check us out, by the way, at Bourbon of the Week on Instagram. You can guess what I'm going to pick. So in our next one, in two days from now, you can guess what I'm going to pick. If you guess correctly, you're going to be entered in a drawing. At the end of this, we're going to pick a bunch of winners. So at Bourbon of the Week on Instagram, check us out. The Rebel Yell was the underdog going into this. I don't think that it should have beat Four Roses. I think they have a very good product here. Again, this is only the second or third time that I've had this. It's not bad. If you like a weeded bourbon and you're looking for a single barrel, again, that price range getting in there is a little bit tough. But keeping price out of the equation, $45 versus $65 or $75, this is better than their 80 proof offering. Their 80 proof offering is not that great if you ask me. This this gives you 10 years, it's giving you 100 proof. Rebel Yell, I mean, it's a name in the game. People like it a lot. I'm not the biggest weeded fan like I've mentioned a few times now. So if you do like a weeded bourbon and you're looking for something new, if you just tried Maker's Mark and you're like, this is really good and I want something else, I would recommend this over like a Larceny and that's just me. It gives you a little bit more flavor and brings out a little bit more of that smoothness when you're having it. But this Four Roses is just gonna take the cake, especially against the Rebel Yell. Just very well balanced. That rye spice is beautiful. Can't knock it for what it's got. So that's where we're gonna be. Round one, Four Roses is gonna be moving on. But again, please check me out on Instagram at Bourbon of the Week and make sure you click that like, make sure you click that follow button so you can be updated on everything that we're doing here. We'll see you guys next time for the next round, which is, what do we got? Two and seven. Russell's versus Buffalo Trace store pick. So we're there for that in a couple of days. See you guys then.